Thank you for inviting me uh, back again. And uh, this session, uh, we'll be talking about uh, various different terms and definitions when it comes to child labor and uh, agriculture. And uh, the first uh, thing that comes up when we talk about child labor in agriculture is the uh, parental exemption. And the parental exemption applies uh, to a child of any age. Uh, they may be employed by his or her parent or a person standing in place of that parent at any time in any occupation on a farm owned or operated by the parent or the person standing in place of that parent. Okay. So uh, it could be the minor's uh, natural parent uh, or the person standing in uh, place uh, of his parent. Uh, that could be a aunt or uncle or grandparent, uh, step parent, as long as the employment is on the farm that is owned or operated by uh, such parent or person. When we talk about owned by, that includes any part ownership as partners in a partnership or as an officer of a corporation which, is, which owns the farm if the ownership interest in the partnership or the corporation is uh, substantial. And generally, when Wage and Hour talks about substantial, they're looking at uh, a 20% uh, ownership uh, threshold. Okay. Operated uh, means that the person exerts active and direct control over the operation of the farm or ranch by making day-to-day -day decisions affecting basic income, assigning work, hiring and firing employees, and exercising direct supervision of the farm or ranch work. Ranch managers uh, who meet these criteria could employ his or her own children under the age 16 on the ranch they operate without regard to the provisions of the agriculture hazardous order occupations. So these are the minimum age standards uh, for employment in agriculture. If uh, the minor is uh, 16 years of age, they can perform any farm job, including any of the agriculture hazardous orders, at any time, including during school hours. At the age of 14, uh, they can be employed outside school hours in any agriculture occupation except those declared hazardous by the Secretary of Labor. If they're 12 or 13 years of age, they may be employed outside of school hours with written parental consent or on a farm where the minor's parents or person standing in place of that parent is also employed. If they're under the age of 12, uh, they may be employed outside of school hours with com parental consent on a farm where the employees are exempt from the federal minimum way, uh, the federal minimum uh, age provisions. Okay. Any minor uh, that is employed uh, by a farm uh, that is subject to the Fair Labor Standards Act must be paid at least uh, the statutory minimum wage, which is currently $7.25, for all hours worked unless uh, an exemption applies. There is a uh, youth uh, training wage. It applies to employees that are under the age of 20. Uh, they may be paid at least $4.25 per hour for their first uh, consecutive 90 calendar days of employment with an employer. Under uh, Section 213, 
uh, A6A of the Fair Labor Standards Act, an employer in agriculture who did not utilize more than 500 man days of agriculture labor in any calendar quarter of the preceding year is exempt from minimum wage and the overtime provisions of the Fair Labor Standards Act. And under Section 213B12, agriculture employees are not subject to the overtime provisions of the Fair Labor Standards Act. So school hours, I've talked a lot about, you know, outside of school hours, but the definition for school hours is defined as those set by the official calendar of the school district in which a minor is living while employed uh, in agriculture. And so that definition uh, would also apply to whether the person goes to a private school or their home school uh, we're looking at the official uh, calendar for the school district in which the minor is employed. All right. So these are the hazardous order occupations for which uh, the secretary has declared to be hazardous for anyone under the age of uh, 16. Operating a tractor over 20 PTO horsepower or connecting or disconnecting uh, its implements. Operating or assisting to operate a corn picker, cotton picker, grain combine, hay mower, forage harvester, hay baler, potato digger, mobile pea viner, feed grinder, crop dryer, forage blower, auger conveyor, Unloading mechanisms of a non-gravity type, self-unloading wagon or trailer, post hole digger, power post driver, or non-walking type rotil rotary tiller. Operating or working in a trench of earth moving equipment, forklift, potato combine, or power-driven circular saw, or power-driven circular band or chainsaw. Working in a yard, pen, or stall occupied by a bull, boar, or stud horse maintained for breeding purposes, a sow with suckling pigs, or a cow with a newborn calf with this umbilical cord present. I'm not a farm girl, so this is all new to me. <laughs> Uh, feeling, buckling, uh, skidding, loading, or unloading timber with a butt diameter of more than six inches. Working from a ladder or scaffold at a height of over 20 feet. Driving a bus, truck, or automobile to transport passengers or riding on a tractor as a passenger or helper. Working inside a fruit, forage, or grain storage designed to retain an oxygen deficient or toxic atmosphere, an upright silo within two weeks after silage has been added or when a top unloading device is in operating position, a manure pit, a horizontal silo while operating a tractor for packing purposes. Handling or applying toxic agriculture chemicals identified by the words danger, poison, or warning, or, or a skull and crossbone, crossbones on the label. Handling or using explosives and transporting, transferring, or applying androgynous ammonia. There are a few exemptions uh, from the hazardous order uh, occupations, and those exemptions can apply to uh, student learners, 4-H, uh, Federal Extension Service Training Program, and Vocational Agriculture uh, Training Programs. Under the student learner programs, uh, under that particular exemption, uh, they, that would only make them exempt from uh, the hazardous orders of one through six, uh, which I just read off, 
And then under the 4-H Extension Service Training Program and the Vocational Agriculture Training Program, that only applies to the hazardous orders of number one and two. And so, and these uh, is just our uh, informational, uh, where you can find additional information about uh, agriculture uh, employment uh, for youth. Uh, they have their own uh, youth rules uh, webpage, which has a lot of information about employing uh, minors uh, in agriculture. Uh, also at our Wage and Hour uh, homepage, uh, there's a lot of uh, publications uh, in regard to uh, agriculture employment fact sheets uh, regulations and things like that uh, you could also call our uh, toll-free uh, wage and hour number uh, for assistance and then there's some interactive things uh, on our website in regard to e-laws or you can always contact your nearest uh, wage and hour office and uh, most States, uh, you will have a wage and hour office that can provide you with assistance with your questions. That's all that I have. Thank you. <laughs>